Hey babes, in this video I am transforming from Mark, the Prince of Vanity, into Trixie Mattel from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 7. Trixie's look is very particular and it's very animated, it's very cartoony and it's so much makeup so half of you guys are gonna love this look and half of you guys are gonna hate it but I kinda like it. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope that you enjoy the rest of the tutorial. At first I was really excited to do this makeup tutorial and then I started getting all of my makeup out and realised how much makeup is gonna go on my face. Because Trixie wears so much makeup, it's a little bit unreal. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna cover my eyebrows using Prozade, covering my sideburns as well. Honestly, I feel like this is better than the glue stick method, and it's so much easier and it covers so much quicker as well. Hard to get off though, which is so annoying. I'm just going to set that with some powder. This is the Natural Collection Powder. You're going to be putting a lot of makeup on, so you want to use a moisturiser. And the one that I'm using is the Rodeal Stem Cell Superfood Glam Balm Mortai. This is one of my favourite moisturisers, but it's running out. I'm going to be applying some beard cover. This is from Veil Cover Cream. I'm just going to be using my finger just to blend that through my beard area. For foundation, I'm going to be using a mixture of Max Factor Pen Stick, which is the high coverage drag foundation, and also the Sasha Cosmetics Second Skin Foundation, which is so, so, so full coverage. Just going to buff that into the skin. To highlight, I'm going to be using my Vichy Derma Blend in Opal and just apply that underneath the cheekbones, underneath the eyes. The chin and on the nose bridge as well, a little bit on the forehead. Not that much because a lot of the makeup is going to cover that anyway. Give that a quick blend. So I'm going to be setting the makeup again with my Natural Collection Powder. Beat the face. I'm just going to dust all of that off. So Trixie's contour is really, 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 really harsh. So I'm first going to start off with a base contour and then deepen things up later on. So I'm going to be using my NYX Matte Bronzer. You want to go pretty low with this because Trixie's contour is pretty low. You want to do the hairline. And Trixie's jawline contour is pretty harsh. I am going to blend everything slightly. But this is not a Miss Faye makeup tutorial, this is Trixie Mattel, so it's going to be a lot of harsh lines. What I'm going to do now is, with a light powder, cook the highlight powder in, and this is a yellow toned highlight powder, and I'm using an art sponge just to cut the cheek. all the way from underneath the cheekbone to the mouth area. And we're going to intensify that with white later on. Apply a lot of that under the eyes as well. <laughs> Trixie's boy character does not use any of his natural features to do his makeup as Trixie. Basically, he kind of draws on a face. So what I'm going to do is draw an outline for everything, like the brows, the crease, the eyeliner, before I go in with all the other products. So I'm going to go in with my bronzer again. And I'm going to draw in my crease first. And you want to just draw a half circle, basically. Take your time in making these even, but since they are just a guideline, you can 
make mistakes at this point. I'm gonna draw an outline for my brows. Also, um, Trixie doesn't really ha have much of a forehead because half of her face are her eyes. She has an inch space of forehead area. Draw a guideline for the eyeliner as well. And that covers the whole lid and the whole crease. A lot of Trixie's eye is white eyeliner on the bottom, so I'm just gonna draw on my new lower lash line, which is gonna be right here, where my eye bags are supposed to be. In the waterline, I'm gonna be applying my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and extend that down onto the opening between the top eyeliner and the bottom lash line. While I was doing this, I, I was just watching Hey Queen. I love that show. It's basically where Jenny McGovern interviews a bunch of the drag race queens, a bunch of drag queens, or a bunch of people in the gay community, or people that impact the LGBT community in any way. I'm gonna use my Sugar Pill eyeshadow in Taco. I know Trixie loves Sugar Pill, so this is definitely one of the products that she likes to use, but I'm gonna take the white shade and just set the eyeliner to make that extra white. I'm going to smudge a bunch of that bronzer just onto the lower lash line and I'm going to be deepening up everything using my Louise Young eyeshadow palette and use the brown shades right here to gradually make it darker. To sharpen up the lower lash line I'm going to be using my NYX two timer liner just to outline the shape. For my gel liner I'm going to be using my Topshop liner all the way up to here. I wonder how quickly Trixie goes through a pot of eyeliner. By the way guys, I've popped in my blue contact lenses. They're from maplelens.com. There's going to be a link in the bottom bar as well. All over the new lid, I'm going to be priming my lids using my MUA primer. This is going to serve as a base and sort of like a glue, really, for the eyeshadow. To set that, I'm going to be using my Sugar Pill eyeshadow in Mochi, which is bright here, which is a mint colour. This is a very Trixie colour, and I think Trixie does use this eyeshadow. I think she uses Butter Cupcake for when she does a yellow eyeshadow look. And she uses Poison Plum and Dolly Pop when she does a pink and purple look bit of info for you guys. And then she does a little bit of glitter onto the eyelid, so I'm just gonna be adding a clay glitter on top of that. I'm gonna use my LA Splash Splash Proof Sealer Base as a glue for the glitter. Once that is done, I'm going to go in with my bronzer again and my brown eyeshadows to do my crease and I'm going to do the same principle as I did on the bottom lash line and gradiate that up. I'm going to outline my crease using the liner. And then I'm going to smudge that in using my black eyeshadow. I'm just going to be adding a little bit of mascara to my top lashes just to darken them up a little bit. This is L'Oreal Miss Manga Lashes Mascara. I'm going to intensify the cheekbone contour by carving out the cheek using taco eyeshadow. Like this. Trixie's cheeks are so carved out. And then we're going to carve out the contour with a dark brown shade from MUA. Just go against the white. For blush, I'm going to be using my Sleek Pink Print palette, and it's got this neon pink right here. It's amazing. For drag, not for natural girls. Um, but I'm just going to apply that onto the cheeks as my blush. And I'm going to be doing my nose contour now. And Trixie's nose bridge is pretty highlighted, so I'm just adding that white onto my nose bridge and then contour my nose using the bronzer. For bottom lashes, I'm using this Asian brand. These are some spiky lashes from Fairy Lash, and I'm adding these lashes onto my top lashes. They're, I think, five to six pairs of lashes. 
Okay, lips. I'm going to be using my NYX Plush Red Lip Liner. Trixie's lips are pretty rounded. Of the Cupid's bow, they're very, very accentuated. And then after that, I'm going to be filling it in with some lipsticks. This is 17 in Dreamy. Use a bubblegum pink on the lips. And on the inside of the lips, I'm going to be using Topshop lipstick in Pillow Talk. I'm going to put on some garb now, some wig and an outfit, and I'm going to come back. So here you go guys, the wig is from eBay. I actually just styled her today. This wig was actually the wig that I used for my mermaid makeup tutorial last year if you haven't seen that so it used to be really really long but I've just styled her today and cut it the jewelry is from Primark and this dress right here is from dressgal.com it's this cute peachy pink dress and I'll leave a link in the description bar for this as well I hope you guys still enjoyed the video and this look is so much fun it is a lot of fun actually so I hope you guys enjoyed it this has been Mark the Prince of Vanity as Tracy Martell <laughs> as Trixie Mattel, and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, damn it. Bye guys!